Hello fifth grade. Today we're all becoming designers of tree houses. As you can see in front of me, I have one of my teacher examples of a tree with a house on top. We're going to walk through how we draw a tree and how we draw a 3D tree house by creating a cube and a pyramid on top. For this, I use color pencils, but we're going to be using those color pencils next time I see you when we finish this. Today is all just about drawing and outlining. If you look on Schoology, I have two videos for you. One of them is going to walk you through the design challenge that talks about the decisions you're going to make while you create your treehouse. Thinking about what your treehouse is made of, what are the accessories or cool things about it that make it unique, thinking about what kind of tree you're going to draw, and all of those things that make it unique and special to you when you design it. The other video is all about different treehouse examples. It shows how a designer went into a backyard and designed a really cool treehouse from scratch. That video is very interesting to see how real treehouses are and how they have really become a, like a cool sensation for architecture. Here's one of the books that inspired me for this lesson. It's called New Tree, Tree Houses of the World. When you open it up, it is listed by country and it shows a ton of examples of different tree houses from around the world. And you can see from the different styles of houses, the different styles of interior, the furniture used, the different woodworking, and then you start to see how there's like kitchens with electricity in different countries you can see that they're used for different purposes this one is actually a schoolhouse in a tree and this one's from thailand you can see different stairways and different ladders and different places the tree house is. So this one's kind of in the middle of a tree, not the very top. This one has different platforms. So there's like a beginning structure that you climb and you climb to another structure. And at the very top is the main tree house. See how trees are literally built or the houses are built around the tree. Into the tree and so on Ooh, hold on and they are all so different different walkways and you see different built-ons all right there's also on schoology this is one of my favorite ones it's not cool it's entirely made of glass so on schoology there is a album where you see a whole bunch of different student examples of treehouse drawn in past classes. You see that all of them look the same with a tree and a house, but they all look different in how you add different elements to it. Like mine has an escape slide, has a tire swing, has a telescope coming out the top. And I made mine made out of wood. You could use other things like bricks, stone, maybe shiny plastic. Maybe you don't have just one, you have two different houses and different platforms like the ones we just saw. Think about how you want to design your tree house. Before you start to draw, I want you to think about these decisions and have a mental image of what you're going to draw. When you're ready, to start creating your 3D cube and pyramid as your house, click play and gather your pencil and your marker. You're also going to need that eraser. All right, so hopefully you have an idea on what you are going to create. With me, let's first make the house and then we'll make the tree afterwards. Because we're doing the house first, I want you to put your finger on the top half of your page. 
where your house is going to be. We're going to start up here and we'll draw the tree underneath it. Because we're drawing a cube, I'm going to show you the three quick steps on how we make that cube and we don't get too confused. Your first step is to make a diamond shape. This diamond shape should be as long as your house is going to be. So if you have more than a few platforms or different structures for your tree house, then you're going to want to make a few of these shapes. It's a long diamond, but it also kind of looks like a slanted square. On each corner of the three points on top of the diamond, not this one, these three upper points, you're going to draw a line going all the way up. These are going to be the sides of your tree house, the corner and the other side. It's starting to resemble that house-like quality. Instead of drawing a flat top, we're now going to put a pyramid on the very top of it for the roof. Your roof might look different. If you want to make a circular roof, you can go ahead and make a dome shape, which is just a half circle. For this one, I am going to make that classic pyramid. So I make one line that matches this bottom line. So they're both going at the same angle. And I make the other one going the same over here. So I've got my 3D cube. And all I need to do now is make that line a little longer so it hangs off the side of your cube. And then I angle the roof line all the way up on both sides to make that roof shape. It kind of looks like an arrow. In the center, I'm going to have my final line be the edge that lines up with my cube side right here. So it looks like I've got a 3D triangle and a 3D cube. Here is our house. If I wanted to make another mini one, maybe I'll make one right here. I do the same process, but mini, a little tiny one. I make my slanted diamond square, my three lines up. I follow the same line that is down here, that angle. And for this mini one, maybe I'll make a dome shape. Maybe that's my little observatory one. Remember, this is yours, so you should customize it as however you would want it to look like. It should not look just like mine. It should not look just like the teacher example. Now that we have our two buildings, before I add too many details, I'm going to draw my tree. Think about your tree being a huge letter Y. And let me show you how I do that. I first draw my big letter Y underneath my cube. And all I'm doing is drawing that long stem and two arms sticking up, like the letter Y. And then I draw the thickness of the branch by following my pencil line right next to that arm. And I follow it down to the trunk. I make it kind of curved because trees are very organic. They're very natural. They don't have too many sharp curves. I'm pretending that my house is sitting right in the inside of the Y shape. Like it is balanced right in there. You might have your branch going right over the corner of your house to give it that illusion that it is sitting inside the tree. I can just erase the corner and make sure that my line for my tree is nice and strong and goes over the corner. So it looks like it's snug in there. Once I have my two branches up here, I can then add more V's and letter Y's to make branches. So I just make a letter V and I follow my branches all the way to the top. Over here, I'll make another V, and then I can just add some more branches. Here's another letter Y. Here's a big old letter V with some more branches coming off. 
we're not gonna focus on any leaves today. We're just gonna think of these tree houses either in the fall when all the leaves are gone or right now, like in spring, when we haven't had any leaves growing yet. I've got this floating guy, so I need to make sure I have another big branch coming out to rest him on. Remember that these lines for your tree should be nice and flowy. They should be organic. They should look very natural. While our houses should be using um, angles and straight lines. So we have a lot of difference in um, style of drawing here. We've got our very um, geometric and very precise buildings and our flowy organic trees. Now here comes the fun part, fifth grade. After you have your buildings drawn and your tree drawn in, it's time to decorate. Think about windows, what material your house is made of, and think of doorways, accessories, how are you getting into the tree house, how are you getting out of the tree house, what are you gonna do while you're in the tree house. I'm gonna quickly fill in some details for this. I'm going to go super quick. I'm going to be fast forwarded. Make sure you're taking the time to plot out your details as we are creating together. All right, so while I was sketching everything out, a few things I want to remind you guys of is to use your eraser. When you see spots, like when I look up close, where the little boards of my rope ladder coming out of the trap door of my treehouse, where the rope goes behind it, I made sure to erase that line. Make sure you're also being very aware of where your lines are in your tree and in your buildings. Make sure you're erasing the shapes that are hiding behind things. Remember about overlapping and depth. In fifth grade, we know all of the tools to make an awesome art piece, and now we're gonna use them in this tree house. Think about how when things are closer, they're bigger. I also added in a grass line, so I see where my ground is. And windows, I made a brick texture, and I made a mini rainbow painted on the side. I added windows, that trap door, and I think that before I finish, I just want to have something um, fun. I might put another swing. Big fan of swings. And I just draw that in. I make sure that my ropes are tied to the branch. They're not just floating in midair. All right, friends. You guys have the option. If you'd like to outline this today like I did on this, go ahead, take out your marker and start to outline. If you want to skip outlining for this and just color with your pencil in lines, you can also do that. I like to outline so that all my lines really pop. So friends, I'm going to let you go from here. I cannot wait to see your finished product. Make sure you upload it to Schoology on the discussion board. And I will see you next time for when we color it all in together.